Evanescence, welcome to Australia. How are you doing? Thanks. All right. Good. What's Good. up? <laughs> who's, who's been here before? I know you've been here before. We all have. We played yeah, some shows here before. Yeah. Did we come two times? I believe we've been okay. here twice. I don't know about here. Everybody, everybody? <laughs> not, not this dude. Not me. Uh, yeah, huh? Not with us, though. He's brand spanking new. He wasn't here with us. I've never been in Australia. I thought you said you had. No, no, no. Oh, welcome to Australia. He was saying he wants to be in Australia. All right, well, rewind the tape. That sounded fantastic out there. How was it? Oh, thanks. He was all right. It was good. It was good. It's always hard to do, like, you know, in a smaller setting where it's not really a show, but you're trying to make it as much of a show as you can, so you're kind of half on, half off, but I thought it was pretty good. But for the fans, of course, it's extra special because you're, yeah. you're up close. It's very intimate. Yeah, that one girl was going off. She was singing all the wake <laughs> <Yeah>. me ups. <laughs> yeah, there's she was a like, wake me, me up. Air guitar, and I was like, I saw that. wow, it's a little uncomfortable. Going under, one of those songs that you're going to have to sing every time you walk on stage for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> what do you want to know? I actually played a show and then played My Immortal. I know, it was cool. Wow. Amazing. I enjoyed it. <laughs> it must be great walking out on stage and ripping into that song and just seeing the reaction. Going under? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, it was cool. The crowd definitely um, loved it right away. They knew what it was. It's good to, it's good to bring back the, the familiar ones. Um, I don't know what to say about that song. I feel like that's actually probably the most empowering song on Fallen just because um, it's saying, I don't know, that I don't want to be, it's kind of the same message actually as we sacrifice, that I don't want to be like um, pushed down anywhere. I want to break out of it. And a song that connected with so many people, 14 million of them, God bless them. It's, it's quite, a, quite a few. It's quite a crowd.
number one album from Evanescence is The Open Door. When you and Ben put the first version of the band together and sold 14 million albums or something, incredible. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Well, it's wonderful. Yeah. How traumatic was it for you when he left the group? Oh, it wasn't traumatic. It was, it was a real relief. Um, people grow apart, and when Ben and I really worked, um, we were really young, like in high school and a little bit after, but even as early as, um, I don't know, when we were recording the album and, and then first touring Fall and things were really hard and, and strained in the band uh, with Ben. He just wasn't happy anymore. So um, as soon as that chapter ended, we had an opportunity to really grow and evolve. And um, Terry joined the band, and that was um, a real push for us. So um, I think it was a really good thing. How different was it for you writing with somebody else after all that work with Ben? It was great. Actually, a uh, funny little fact. I never actually really wrote with Ben. Uh -huh. um, we always wrote separately and then tried to stick our ideas together. Um, so it was cool for the first time I felt like I could open up and not be intimidated or afraid or insecure and write, like literally write in a room with somebody uh, and not feel like judged or whatever. It was awesome. It was a good time. Call Me When You're Sober, written um, for, about, inspired by your ex? Yeah, of course. Um, I don't know what to say. It's so self-explanatory. Um, I got to the end of a relationship and it was uh, a rough breakup for me. I don't want to talk too in depth about it because I don't want to hurt like people that I've been in relationships with any more than I already have by writing the song. Um, <laughs> but it felt really good to um, lay everything on the line and not, you know, hide it with with metaphor and just really be clear um, that I didn't want to take it anymore and, and just say what I had to say and get it off my chest. I feel good every time I sing the song. I feel better. Except you can't call it anymore because um, you've got engaged. I was going to say because I changed my number. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations on the Thanks engagement. Thanks very much. I'm very excited. Have you set a date? Uh, nope, not yet. Uh, but we want to do it this year, for sure. You kind of keep your personal stuff personal? Yeah. I not, try to. Not going to break try that trend? Try my best, no. Um, it's all good. And I'm very excited. It's a, new, it's a new chapter in my life. Just yeah. about to begin.
They might be easy to play, but I mean, your videos are such elaborate affairs. They're so heavily produced and stylized. How much do you have to do with that? Um, just, I don't know, it depends, video to video. Some videos I've had nothing to do with. Well, I always have something to do with it, but some I didn't come up with the treatment and some I did. Um, I don't know, I guess going under, I um, had a lot of vision for. Uh, Bring Me to Life, we really had no say in because it was our first video and it was just sort of like, Okay, what do we do? Whatever. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. And it, it was really weird. I even like, I look at it now and I'm just like, ugh. Oh, even the clothes I'm wearing, I hate them so much. I'm just like, no, I hate that video. And then now, um, Lithium, I, I think we all love a lot, um, our most recent video. Um, and I, I came up with the treatment idea, and then the director actually took it a step further and made the snow everything, and I think it's, it's really gorgeous. Lithium, don't want to lock me up inside a Wanna let it go
Jamie, this is quite a journey that you've taken Evanescence on. I mean, when you guys were starting out, Little Rock, Arkansas, at high school, putting a band together, could you have imagined that this is where you'd end up a few years down the track? Um, I don't know. I guess I could have imagined it. I definitely hoped that um, we'd be able to tour the world and, and play music for a living. And um, I've always loved this band and, and our music a lot and had a lot of faith in it. But you, I don't know. I guess I couldn't have dreamed quite this much. Um, I hoped, but you don't know what's out there until you go. So it's been awesome. I'm, I'm definitely very grateful for everything that's happened to us. And I realize how rare it is. You have such a distinctive look and sound. I mean, how much of that is organic and just kind of happened and how much was planned? The, uh, the band? Um, well, I guess sound-wise, it's. I feel like it's all organic, honestly. I love, um, I don't know, all kinds of different music. We try to put a lot of different influences from different genres into the music. I mean, at the heart of it, it's, it's a heavy rock band, but there's more in there. There's classical, which um, is a lot of my training and influence coming into it. And um, I don't know, we even listened to some like Dr. Dre and other stuff when we were writing the last record, um, just for fun. But also, things like from totally different areas are really inspiring. Um, it's all organic, I would say. I don't think any of it's us trying to be something we're not. I think we're finally at a place now where um, nothing that we are is like trying to be somebody else. Bring me to life from the first album again. Um, another, well, is this, is this the Evanescence anthem? Uh, I don't know. Hopefully we can have more than one. <laughs> well, I'd is, like to have a is, few. It definitely is an evidence. It's definitely one of them. I mean, it was our first big um, single. It was our first single. So um, it was cool that it was a hit and we got to start traveling the world and shoot our video in Romania and, I don't know, come here actually and everything. So um, very cool song. Well, it's one of those songs that really, you know, <laughs> clearly, you know, kick-started things, didn't it? Best just bashed down doors, got on radio, suddenly, you know, boom. Evanescence has arrived. Yeah. Oh, no. 
And then as soon as you finish recording the album, man, you have this major stroke. Yeah. Kind of right in the middle of it, actually. I'm sorry, Core. You want to say anything about that? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> talk, talk us through a major stroke. Just kind of woke up, finished guitar tracks on a Saturday, and Monday morning I woke up on the way back to the studio and just collapsed. And you knew something was wrong, obviously. Yeah, girlfriend called 911. They came, took me to the hospital, and they really didn't know what was wrong because all my vitals and all that kind of stuff was all good. <clears throat> and um, then they did an MRI and saw a blood clot in my artery, in my neck. It was pretty scary. Yeah, it was. And you lost use of part of your body, I believe. I have paralysis in my hand. That's not good for a guitarist. No, just a lot of therapy and stuff like that. So you, you had to learn to work your fingers again, basically. Yeah. It's like the knowledge is basically still there, just your hand doesn't do what it, you want it to do. He did have a year to really like go to physical therapy three times a week and um, just work and work and work at his arm till finally, really just in time, tour started when he could pull it off and was feeling good enough. But um, he still, I, I think he sounds great, but he still is like really hard on himself and feel it's like he's still not 100%. But I think being on tour, is, he says, yeah, that it's, it's like kind tour of his therapy. Yeah, it's like therapy right now, basically. Because you have to play every day. <laughs> I love that song. Actually, it started from an idea that I had years and years ago when I was maybe um, 16 years old. I sort of had the idea for the chorus um, on a cassette tape that I'd like recorded myself singing or whatever from forever ago and I never used it. So when we were making the open door, um, I don't know. We pulled out a lot of ideas that we had, like either on a little cassette recorder um, that I'd recorded of me over the years, whatever, on tour, thinking of a cool idea, um, and try to maybe work them into a song or, or just come up with ideas from scratch or whatever. So it was cool to be able to use a piece of a, an old one that I started when I was like 15 and make it into something real. Me, 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 me. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna mess it up now. All right, okay.
your star that wound up the set. Another great song. You, you, like it? Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> you too, huh? One of your favourites, actually. Yeah, you? yeah, it is. I think it's Terry's favourite on the album. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I remember writing it and having such a good time because um, it was really hard to play. Um, I still, I messed up. I mean, I mess up every time. <laughs> Like the whole like piano part that's just like. But you're not perfect. No, no. Yeah. None of us are. That's what live performance is all about. Um, but it definitely brings back the classical sauce, and that makes me happy. But it is a challenge, and it's a challenge every night. It's like um, always trying to get it perfect and do it the best that we can. Like, and I don't know. Something about that challenge is really interesting because um, we definitely played shows before when we were completely burnt out on Fallen songs um, where it was just the same thing over and over and over and it gets so monotonous and the songs aren't really that hard they're pretty they're pretty simple to play to some degree so it's kind of like you're just like oh man come on let's go so it's cool um, to have a song that's really fun and challenging and hard well Amy guys thank you very much indeed for your time and uh, thank you for playing live at the lake thank you Yeah.